Hello and welcome to Wandering Sword. This game has just released onto Steam and I'd highly recommend checking it out through the link in the description. It is an absolutely beautiful pixel art kung fu RPG and it is an incredible title. It really is. You do not want to miss this. Anyway, there is an amazing giveaway currently going on on Twitter. The developers of the game have decided to give away a couple of keys and you can indeed enter that giveaway and you can have a chance of, of playing the game for free. So that's absolutely fantastic. This video is kindly sponsored by the developers of Wandering Sword and we're going to be starting a new story. I am just absolutely blown away by how incredibly high quality these pixel art uh, little sprites are as well. At the end of the Ning Dynasty, the land was plagued with internal and external conflicts, and the whole martial arts world was set ablaze with turmoil. In the Outer Lands, Tianlong Gong took this chance and rose up, allying with foreign powers that preyed upon the people of the Central Plains, and hopefully you read the rest of that, because I unfortunately did not. Anyway. Valley of Dragon Slumber, the Outer Lands, is where we currently are. And I gotta say, I mean, if you just take a look at this, look at the environments. The environments look so incredibly highly detailed, and you think, is that is that pixel art? It, it doesn't look like it, you know what I mean? It's crazy. And the amount of high-quality animations that you're also going to be getting here. Anyway, phew, finally lost those vagrants. Valley of Dragon Slumber is just up ahead. Let's take a break here. Phew, finally. It's been nothing but sand since we left Shung, Shungu Pass. You've you got to bear in mind that I am not going to be able to pronounce these names any, any bit accurately, so I apologize ahead of time, okay? Very much, very much apologizing on that. I can finally catch my breath now. Zhang Cheng, seriously? Hmm. You've been sitting the whole time, and you're the one who is complaining? Oh, come on. I hurt my leg, missy. Speaking of which, those vagrants were crazy. Of course I owe you a big favor for saving me. Take this as a token of appreciation. Milk liquor? Had no idea you got this in your stash. You're a gentleman for sharing it. Hey, Chu Yu, let me have a sip too. Not you, Ehu. Every time you take a sip, you never stop. Want to have some yi? Nah, I'm good. You know me, Chu Yu. I better stay sober. Chu Yu, my sister, why are you so biased against me? Haha, <laughs> take it easy, Ehu. Well, I, I mean, to be fair, you know, he, he, he probably would. Anyway, my uncle wouldn't have let me out if you and Chu Yu hadn't taken my side. Once we deliver the cargo safely to Li City, I'll buy everyone drinks. Yi is right. This place isn't safe these days. But let's get this straight. Don't you go back on your word once we're in Lee City. That's right. It's not every day that you offer to buy us drinks. We shall feast in Lee City. Sure, it's settled then. Alright, there you go. So... Obviously, you've got to bear in mind that the battle system is a fantastic implementation as well. It is a time-based system as far as I remember, but we're obviously going to get an opportunity to take a look and see exactly what's going on with it. All right, so obviously you can move around right here, and the amount that you can move around is not just on the 2D. You, well, it is on 2D, but you can move up and down as well. It's not just left and right, right? Anyway, hmm, the ground looks like something is buried in there. Huh, I'm in the middle of nowhere, aren't I? Okay, yeah, well. Anyway, so we can actually speak to our people now. Hey, Yi. Who do you think the man in the carriage really is? I have no idea either. If you're so curious, go ask him. He seems pretty nice. Nah, he doesn't look like regular folk. I don't want to mess with him. Yeah, well, I wouldn't want to mess with him either. It is almost New Year. Yeah, when we return to Liao City, why don't you and Chu Yu celebrate New Year at my place? I'll ask my uncle to make your favorite dumplings. <laughs> that sounds fantastic. I'm going to enjoy some delicious food again. All right, and now we just have to speak to our wonderful companion here. Yi, this seems to be the first time the man in the carriage has ever set foot in the Outer Lands. He is probably not well prepared. How about we share some of our water with him? Of course. I got it. Now, what's really funny about this is I actually remember who is in the in the cart here. Excuse me, would you like some water? Thank you. 
You're welcome. We've taken your payment after all, so we'll definitely escort you to Lee City safely. Thank you. By the way, did you just say this place isn't safe? Yeah, a bunch of vagrants recently came from the south. Tianlong Gang took our money as a toll, but Chu Yu mentioned that they haven't done anything about these vagrants. I heard that many other caravans were also ambushed just like us. You didn't pick a good time to visit Lee City. By the way, would you like to sit down here? Doesn't it get stuffy inside the carriage? I'm fine, thank you. It's better that I'm not seen here in the outer lands. <laughs> all right, I got it. You people all have enemies, don't you? Otherwise, you wouldn't have hired our carriage. It's getting late. Let's get ready to go. All right, I'll scout ahead. Hey, you up ahead. Get out of our way. Oh, oh pfft, are you serious? Come on. You he just knocked me down like the, like no one's business. Are you serious? Come on now. Ye. Are, are we okay? I, I I don't know. Hey, you need to apologize now. Hmm. Do you have any idea who I am? Yeah, he, he doesn't sound like this in reality, but I'm giving him that voice. You want me to apologize? You have a death wish. Wait, these people look like trouble. Huh. Sorry, it's all right. It's an honor to have bumped into you. Please calm down, gentlemen. That's more like it. <laughs> oh, there, there, okay, there's, an, there's another faction coming in now. You're getting desperate these days, Chen Wu, bullying a couple of kids. Damn it. You'll be messing with us all this way, Fang Kuai. You really think I'm a pushover? Not at all. It's just that the vagrants belong to the Church of Shun Huao. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. The moment they worship the Holy Fire. Now that you've captured all of them, I'll have to demand an explanation from you. Bullshit. You've taken down dozens of Tianglong Gang members. What else do you want? Heh. <laughs> Are you talking about the thugs who were terrorizing civilians? They got what they deserved. Tell with that. In that case, don't blame me for what I'm gonna do. Oh no, looks like these people are going to start a fight at the drop of a hat. Crap, if we get caught in the middle of this, we'll be in deep trouble. Leave quickly. Heh <laughs> guys, we are just a small caravan passing through and we don't want to spoil your mood. How about letting us through before you continue with this? Ha, <laughs> leave? Not gonna lie to you. No one entering Valley of Dragon Slumber today will get out alive. Blame your damn luck if you want. Ha <laughs> ha. Get him. Oh, they're getting shot. They're getting shot by people. Ha <laughs> ha, thank you. Hi. I got these poison arrows especially for you. How does it feel? We've fallen for their trick. Retreat. You think you're getting away today? Ha, <laughs> the surprise is yet to come. Stop it. Oh, he means he means some business. He means some business. This Master Ching Shu from Wu Dang. I am. Forgive me, Mr. Chen. And this is where we get a little bit of a combat tutorial, if I recall. Yes, indeed. Okay, so now there are so many different ways that you can attack in this game. And that's exactly the reason why it is just incredible. The combat system is incredible. Okay, the character with a white arrow overhead is currently actionable. The green bar indicates HP, as you might expect, of course. The yellow bar indicates chi. Only when a character's chi is full can they take action. The light colored grids indicate the maximum movement range in this battle. The blue colored indicate the area the character can reach this turn. And right click after moving to undo the action. So left click over here and then you, as you can see you can now move. The number below a skill represents its shortcut key so you can obviously use your keys if you so desire. You can also use a controller by the way if you want to. All right here we go. Hover over an icon so on and so forth, and then it's going to allow you to, you know, see what it does. So for example, this thing deals damage to targets within four grids centered around the user. So you can see exactly the attack range, you can see how much damage it does, you can see the mana cost, you can see the cooldowns and the turns and so on. So that's absolutely fantastic. A lot of information right there. So now we can select the skill. The yellow grid represents the range from within and so on. Easy, easy to understand. However, very hard in my opinion to master in the end because you're going to be able to you're going to have to know 
a wide variety of different things here. Also, this is, is a, a thing that is going to be extremely important for you. Damage of attacks from the sides increases by 15%. Accuracy of attacks from the back increases by 50%. And damage increases by 15%. So you can see here, attacking from behind, attacking from the side really makes a huge difference. So we're going to just use this for the moment because that's what we can do. Boom. Look at that damage. Obviously, he's a master, so he's going to do massive damage. But when you're playing your regular character later on, you're going to need to, you know, do a little bit differently. So I'm actually going to be taking a look at some of these other things here. We are not really able to do too much here. I'm going to move this way. And then I am going to attack here. Boom. Yeah, take him down. All right, this guy's going to get into range with us. Thankfully, he basically does zero damage. Well, pretty much very little damage. And we can do some damage to him. As you can see, my timer bar, which is exactly the reason why I said it is time-based more than turn-based. So it is still turn-based, but the characters all have individual timing to their attacks which increases the complexity of the combat system just that much more. So anyway, I can obviously use this again and just completely eliminate this fellow. Super nice and easy, because of course, this is the combat tutorial. It is meant to be quite simple. Anyway, ugh, damn it. Hehe, <laughs> Chen Wu, is this what they call shooting yourself in the foot? Never thought Master Ching Shu would be here, did you? Have you no shame, Fan Ku Hai? Did you did to think you even found some snobbish Central Plains Towers to back you up? You coward. Fight me one on one if you've got the balls. Ahem, gentlemen. I'm just passing by and have no intention of meddling in your feud. And I do apologize for earlier. The situation was dire and I had to step up to save who I can. However, the arrow was coated with frosty toad poison, unique to Tianglong Gang. I was wondering if you could hand out the antidote. That's right. Better give us the antidote, Cheng Wu. Perhaps we'll be happy and just let you off this time. You hypocritical scum. You got me today. Do whatever you want, but if you want the antidote... Don't even think about it. <laughs> and he, he swallowed it, of course. Mr. Chen, you... <laughs> If I can't leave here today, neither can you. To lure you in, uh, Fang Kohai, I planted dynamite all over the valley. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, and now he's, now he's blowing it up, really? How does my dynamite taste? You'll die with me today. I don't think so, somehow. I don't think so. I think Master Cheng Shu is actually going to be uh, doing, doing, doing the work right there. A month later, Wutong Village, the Central Plains. And here we go. And that's the long and short of it. The uh, This young man has been f inflicted of the frost venom from the frosty toad. I barely managed to save his life, but could not fully cure him. Huh. Then why did you bring him here when you should be looking for a way to detoxify him? Well, Frosty Toad originates from the Wushang sect. Only the five immortals mental sutra can cure it. <laughs> How ridiculous. The dignified leader of Wudang sect is actually turning to my evil methods for help. Aren't you afraid your so-called righteous allies will despise you? A man's life is at stake, Yin Feng. Don't treat me like your junior anymore. I left Wudang long ago. After all these years, I can't believe you still hold a grudge regarding what happened to your wife, Shifu, actually. Enough. Say no more. You know the truth better than anyone. Hmm. I owe you one from all those years ago. I'm returning the favor today. Leave the young man behind and you can go. Goodbye. Uh, as long as you're willing to save him. When he recovers, tell him to meet me at Wudang's sect. But that is, if, if that is not what he wishes, then just let him be. Goodbye, Yin Feng. And there he goes. Whoa, look at him go. He's, he's super fast. All right, so you guessed it. Our main character here, Yuan Yi, he is still alive and he is just about hanging on. Let's see what happens. Ah, so cold. You're finally awake. <coughs> just about. Just about. Who are you? <laughs> My name is Xiao Tong. Xiao Tong? Uh, my head hurts. 
Saw that coming. The master said you'd been in a coma for more than a month. Whoa, that was a, that's a long time. Coma? Master? I remember now. The people from Tianglong Gang were ruthless. Master Ching Shu must have saved us. Wait, why am I here by myself? Where are Xiao Zhang, Ehu, and Chu Yu? Who are they? You're the only one the master brought here. Just me? Hey, where are you going? I need to find Master Ching Shu and ask him about my friends. I've been taking care of you all day and you don't even care to thank me? Thinking about other people the moment you wake up? So much for gratitude. Uh, my apologies. I didn't think it through. Here are some sheep cheese sticks from the Outer Lands, my main source of food when I was out on expeditions. Would you take them and forgive me? These sheep cheese sticks smell so good. Thank you. Glad you like them. Affinity increase. By the way, Xiao Tong, could you take me to Master Ching Shu? There's no need for that. Master Ching Shu has already left. Daddy! Mister, this is my daddy. People call him Master Zhang. Greetings, Master Zhang. My name is Yuan Yi. Hmm, save your breath. Uh, Xiao Tong, what's that in your hand? Some sheep cheese sticks that Yi gave me. Let me have a look. Sure, they smell so good, don't they? Huh. Remember, Xiao Tong, never accept anything from strangers. Uh, Master Zhang? Ah, uh, bad daddy. I'm gonna find mommy and never come back. Now she's going, yeah. I mean, uh, to be fair, I mean, that. come on. You, you saw what he did, right? You saw what he did. I meant no harm, Master Zhang. No need for that. Just focus on detoxifying. Don't do anything like that again. Detoxifying? What happened to me? What do you think? You were poisoned by Tianglong Gang's frosty toad poison. Honestly, you don't have much longer to live. What? Poisoned? W w what about the rest of the caravan? All dead. <coughs> it can't be. My friends, are they all... How did they... This is not good. The poison is taking effect. Listen up, boy. The poison from Frosty Toad is extremely strong. Had Ching Shu not managed to protect the veins near your heart, you'd have been gone with your friends. But even so, the frost venom in your body may erupt at any time. I promised Ching Shu to heal you, but if you no longer want to live, I don't mind throwing you out right here and now. Gah. Sorry, I was just... Huh. Save your breath. Remember, if you keep letting your emotions affect your mind and heart, even God can't save your life. Anyway, you have to heed my words if you want to get back to normal. Understood? Understood. Thank you, Master Zhang. Don't thank me. I only saved you because Ching Shu asked me to. Alright, stay put in the village for now and don't cause any trouble. Also, take this. A Toxicant Pendant. What is it? A Jade Pendant from Wushang Sect in Nangzhang. It can temporarily suppress the poison. Put it on now. Got it. Thank you, Master Zhang. And there we go. All right, so we can access our profile. Now, this is obviously getting even deeper into the complex nature of the game. Obviously, it's easy to understand initially, and then there's a lot of deeper layers that you're going to have to unravel so that you fully understand it. So, for example, we've got equipment, we've got statistics. All these, all these statistics can obviously be improved as time goes on. And, of course, you have affinities, abilities, and various other things, like, for example, kung fu styles, fighting styles, um, the different weapon types that you can use as well. Anyway, there we go. Uh, Master Zhang, I don't feel so cold anymore and I can feel my whole body relaxing. How is this possible? That means the poison has been suppressed. You should be able to hold on for a while as long as you play it safe. Okay, well, Master Zhang, what just happened with Zhao Tong was my fault. Since it's not urgent, I should go look for her. Ugh. Every time she throws a tantrum, she goes to the grove in the west of the village. Try your luck there. Okay, don't worry, I'll try my best to bring her back. And we now have 
full control over ourselves and we can now take a look at our main story as well so basically we are in wutong well we are needing to enter wutong village go to the grove west of the village and look for Zhao Tong, which is exactly what we're going to do. Personally, I love the environments in this game. I think that they are so incredibly beautiful. Look at that tree over to the right there. Absolutely love that. And the fact that there are animals that are so incredibly detailed as well. Their animations are just so smooth, fluid. Love it. Anyway, as you can see, oh, she's lost her sword by the looks of things. Found her. That's the sound of Zhao Tong weeping. Something must have happened. I got to go check it out. I assume some monkeys stole her sword. <laughs> I, it's because I know. I, I've played the demo. I remember it. It's extremely memorable in my opinion. Anyway, what happened, Xiao Tong? The wooden sword Daddy gave me. Wooden sword? What about it? The monkeys took it away. And there they are. Mischievous little monkeys right there. We're going to have to give them a good thrashing in a second. Daddy gave it to him for, for my birthday. He made it himself. What? Those hateful monkeys. Don't worry, Xiao Tong. I'll get it back for you. Really? Thank you. Affinity increase. Uh, but your poison has not been cleared yet. Take me with you. Daddy has been teaching me martial arts. I can help. Okay, let's do this. All right, here we go. So we can now observe her. As you can see, our affinity, character's affinity is displayed under their name. And you can invite a character to your party if their affinity with you reaches 60. Some characters cannot be invited at any affinity, but this just opens up a huge amount more of the possibilities because you're thinking to yourself, okay, every single person that I come across, I should probably try to be somewhat agreeable to them, respectful, honorable, whatever you want to be, because you want to try to maximize the amount of affinity that you can gain with each character because you never know whether that person can possibly join your retinue and in my opinion that's fantastic i i want to see how many people i can actually try to recruit and what kind of people i can recruit anyway great now i can fight with you let's go and teach those stinky monkeys a lesson okay let's do this all right let's go and now we get the opportunity to actually fight in a normal battle not being super super overpowered because you know ching shu obviously is super super strong anyway monkeys give zhao tong her wooden sword back Squeak, squeak, they go. I'm not going to make squeak, squeak noises because I cannot. That is just not my MO. Anyway, acting all tough now, huh? Guess when the tiger's away, the monkeys will play. Very well, looks like we don't have a choice. It's time to duel. Indeed. All right, here we go. So we only have normal attacks, basic palm abilities at the moment. But of course, as I've said before, later on down the line, you're going to have all these abilities unlocked. You're going to have weapon styles as well. I'm going to move forward here and do some damage to this first monkey. Now, bear in mind, of course, we have timing, so it's all to do with timing, and she is going to be able to potentially heal us as well. She can't actually get close to us right now. She does have healing, though. Um, let me actually just have a look here. I actually wonder, this has... Does this have... This has no range. Oh, I can actually use that right now. Oh, I used that. Okay, yeah, I did, I did not mean to do that. Oh, well, never mind. Not that big a deal. So these things are going to obviously attempt to attack us. Yeah, side attack obviously is going to be doing quite a bit of damage. I need to move away actually. Can I can I do damage here? Can I move? No, that uh, that's not really going to work. Okay, we're probably going to just do this. Ooh, that was a side attack. Oh wow. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, so what we want to do only affect self. Restores this. Okay, yeah, that doesn't really help us that much. Okay, so I need to eliminate this monkey here before it actually kills us. So I will do basic palm technique. Oh, she actually does good damage. Look at that. She actually does really, really good damage. Okay, so yeah, we can now actually move here to do a side attack. Boom. Unfortunately, they seem to have like 78 HP or something like that because... No, wait, no, no. He actually does have 77 HP and I did 77 damage. But he's still alive at 0 HP, unfortunately. So it must be that you need to reduce him to below that. So that's good to know. Anyway, we gain some martial points right here. We also gain monkey's fruit juice, some hide, obviously. I think there's a crafting system in the game as well, potentially. But we'll see. Anyway, there you go. Monkeys successfully scared off. Oh no, the monkeys ran away. It's fine. Look, Zhao Tong. 
Wow, my wooden sword. Thank you so much, Yi. Ha, <laughs> you're welcome. I'm glad to see you smile again. Well, now that you're not mad anymore, how about going back home with me? Not gonna happen. All Daddy does is yell at me. He didn't even come find me. That's not true. Master Zhang didn't ask me to do anything, but told me where you would be. He must want me to bring you back. He's worried about you. Really? Hmm. All right. I'll go back with you then. Good girl. All right. There we go. So we have solved the crisis at the moment. Master Zhang, I have brought Zhao Tong back. Daddy. Hmm. Didn't you say you would never come back? Master Zhang. <laughs> I know you want me back. You told me everything. And now she's left our party. Uh, There's a bit of an awkward silence there. <clears throat> so how do you feel after some stretching? Well, now that you mention it, after fighting those monkeys, my chi and blood flow feels much smoother now. Looks like the effect is kicking in. Now you're ready for the next step. Take this book. He's going to teach us some martial arts, no doubt. Basic cultivation method right there. This is a cultivation method manual. It is. You'll need to make your chi flow to expel the poison. But so far, you only know some trivial tricks and have no real martial arts foundation. So now, practice this basic cultivation method first. What are you waiting for? Cross your legs, calm your mind, and concentrate. Yes, Master Zhang. We're concentrating so hard. We, we're, we're trying our best. There, there we go. We did it. Hmm, so this is what it feels like to have chi running through the body. So warm. Whoa, you're so talented, Yi. You learned it in like a second. Ha <laughs> is that so? Hmm, you are indeed talented, but don't think you've got it all. Your internal energy is not enough to expel the poison. You've got to upgrade your cultivation method. You can use the martial points you earn from fighting or sparring to upgrade your martial arts skills. You should have already earned some martial points from fighting the monkeys. How did he know about the monkeys? He must have been watching us. Try to upgrade your cultivation method now. Sure. Okay. And that's exactly what we'll do. All right. Let's go ahead and do that. So we've got how many? 27 or something like that? Uh, basic cultivation methods. Yeah. Okay. So hover over a skill to view its details, the required martial points to upgrade it, and the change in values after upgrading. Learning or upgrading any cultivation method grants you meridian points based on its quality. You can spend meridian points to strike acupoints and become more powerful. Select upgrade to upgrade this skill. There we go. Now this skill is upgraded. There we go. Fantastic. Yes, that's it. For the next few days, you should try to master the cultivation method and familiarize yourself with how it works. Got it. Thank you, Master Shang. Wait, Yi, I'm coming with you. No, you're staying home. Even mere monkeys managed to bully you. Did you slack off when I told you to practice the five immortal sorcery? I did not. You've taught me only once. I haven't had the chance to fully master it. Then I will teach you again. But this is not the move you normally use. Daddy, is this from Mommy? Daddy, Daddy, where is Mommy? Why hasn't she come back? Your mother. She... What are you still doing here? Go practice martial arts. Yes, of, of course. I'll go now. That was, a, that was a little bit awkward. He should have just gone, <laughs> shouldn't he? Be good, Zhao Tong. Your mother will be back soon. Let me teach you the five immortal sorcery again. Turn the five immortals into goo and drive them with your mind. The five elements generate each other. This kid. It's only a basic cultivation method, but the progress he made the last few days. He's even more talented in martial arts than Zhao Tong. Phew. Took me almost a month. I finally mastered this cultivation method. According to Master Zhang, I should be ready for detoxifying. Whoa, that, that, that took some time, but can you imagine being that proficient at something like this? Well, I, I can't imagine it. 
that it, that must be a, an incredible feeling. Anyway, time flies. I've been living in this village for weeks. Didn't expect so much to happen this time. Were it not for Master Ching Shu, I would have died in the Valley of Dragon Slumber. Oh, Zhao Zhang, Chu Yu, rest in peace. As for Tiang Long Gong and that bastard Chen Wu, I will make them pay one day. You make them pay? Huh, <laughs> don't make me laugh. Chiang Long gang members are all over the outer lands, though they have suffered some losses from Shong Hu cult in recent years. You certainly stand no chance against them. Master Zhang, what brings you here? Do you forget this is my house, kid? Well, what, thinking about the people of your caravan again? All right, I've been thinking. What if I had been more cautious? Perhaps my friends wouldn't have... Hmm. So what if you had been more cautious? Kill or be killed. That's how it works in this world. I am so useless. If only I learned a powerful move or two from Master Ching Shu, or you, I would have been able to protect everyone. Yeah. Say you learned a move or two, then what? Even Ching Shu couldn't save them, let alone you. But what if... What if I can keep practicing martial arts until I'm better than Master Ching Shu? Better than you? Heck, maybe even better than anyone else out there. Would I be able to protect the people dear to me and take my revenge by then? You can't protect everyone all the time. It's not a matter of martial arts. All right. Don't think too much, young man. You're still poisoned with frost venom. Focus on staying alive first. You can't avenge anyone if you're dead. You're right, Master Zhang. I was being impatient. Okay, now that you have mastered the cultivation method, go to bed early tonight. We will start dealing with the poison in your body tomorrow. Got it. Thank you, Master Zhang. He sure likes a drink. Doesn't he? Ah, it's so cold. Hee <coughs> hee, he, yee. You got up later than I did today. It's rare. Haha, <laughs> you got me. What's wrong, Yi? I am alright, I just feel a bit cold. Ah, could it be the frost venom kicking in again? Daddy, Daddy, is Yi gonna be alright? The toxic pendant can only suppress the frost venom temporarily. It's been a while since he put it on, and, and the suppression is at its limit. It's logical that he's starting to feel cold. Ah, then do something, Daddy. Don't worry. I was going to start the final preparation for detoxification and activate his meridians today anyway. Listen carefully, kid. Your internal energy, which increases as you learn cultivation methods, flows in the meridian acupoints in your body. The meridian points you earn by upgrading cultivation methods can be used to strike acupoints and finally activate all the meridians. You should have earned some meridian points by upgrading the basic cultivation method before. Now try to, stra no, try to strike an acupoint. Sure. And here we go. Look at this. So select the meridian icon or use the shortcut key to open it. Current meridian points which can be earned by learning or upgrading. We've got 20. Select a meridian map to check its details. We've got conception right here. Grayed out acupoints are locked. You can strike the prerequisite acupoints to level 3 to unlock them. Hover over an acupoint to view its effects. So as you can see you can gain a particular stat point or ability or something like that. Special acupoints have extra effects when they reach their maximum level. So you can see here there's an extra effect. 20% chance to remove one debuff when attacked. That's actually pretty powerful. Switch to the previous Meridian map. There it is. So we can actually go for this. Strike it. Boom. Again? Should I do, no should I do another one? No, we can't. Okay. We, we just did the one. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Well done. That way... Your body is ready for detoxifying. Now you just need to collect the three items for detoxifying. Three items? Yes, and you have to collect them all by yourself. Of course. So which three items are they? The first one is, of course, a medicinal herb. Go to Sun, the physician, at the foot of the mountain and get two medicinal herbs. Okay, maybe I can remember what they're called or maybe maybe the uh, the game will tell me. Hopefully, I'll tell you what to do next when you get them. Okay, I'll go now. All right, right now? Right now? Okay, sure. Should be fine. All right, so it's time for us to leave our residence and finally venture into the village. I'm going to assume there's actually... Yep, look at this. There are some things that we can actually collect here. We've got iron ore, and there's also fishing in the game as well. I absolutely love fishing in general in games, and you are going to be able to fish 
however you like. And as you can see, I'm collecting some wood here. We can collect some herbs as well. I love this kind of stuff. I really do. I could spend a lot of time just randomly running around collecting resources. Absolutely love doing that kind of thing. It is extremely relaxing, but also look at the amazing environment that we are going to be able to explore around. Ah, here is the physician himself. Hello there, sir. How are you, Mr. Sun? Uh... Hmm, aren't you the young man staying with Master Zhang? What brings you here? Is Master Zhang having a relapse? No, he's fine. I'm here to buy some medicinal herbs. I want one of these and one of these, please. Well, I have a lot of that. Take some if you need. But I've run out of Ban Bian Lian since last month and I haven't got any in stock. However, it's not exactly a rare item. It's just that I'm getting old and it's getting harder for me to collect herbs. Don't worry, Mr. Sun. Just tell me where to find it and I'll go get some for you. That would be great. It grows near the river up ahead. But there's a special method you need to utilize. You have to get close to the glowing stuff in order to collect them. I see. How many do you need? Just bring me five. That will last me a while. All right, I'm on it. All right, let's do it. All right, so uh, by the river, where is the river? That's the question. I have no idea. You can actually um, press shift to run around. And look at this. You've been sitting here all day. Did you catch anything? What do you think? Check out my fish basket, kid. There's nothing in it but fish. And then we can consult him. Whoa, there's a lot of fish in it. What's your secret? <laughs> Are you trying to suss out my trick to fishing, kid? Well, I'm in a good mood today. I may as well tell you. Find the default fishing spot in each scene. Approach the light cluster and select fish to start fishing. After the rod is cast, certain stamina is consumed to start fishing. Select leave to cancel fishing at any time. You can check the fish pond level, the species of fish, and their drop rates on the right. When something happens to the bobber, select reel in within the time limit to get the fish. You will get nothing if you fail to reel in before the time limit. So did you get it? Yeah, I got it. Then leave me alone. I already missed some fish when I was talking to you. All right, so let's actually fish for fun. Let's see. Gonna cast it. Reel in. Where's... Oh, there's reel in. Okay. We got one. Oh, yeah. That was super nice. Okay, I love... <laughs> gotta say, love that. <laughs> I, I, I want to do more, but... I really shouldn't because I should show you more of the game. Of course, I should show you more of the game. Even though I would love to just stand there for a whole bunch of time, literally just fishing over and over. Okay, so um, by the river, I assume the river is on the left side of the village. Yeah, I think it might be. Is it? I haven't fully recovered yet. Better not, better not leave the village. But bear in mind, you can indeed leave the village at some point. And ah, here they are. There we go. These are the things that we need. I love the extremely detailed animations that are going on here as well. Look at that. He literally takes the plant in his hand and uses the scythe and then puts it away. I mean, really, these animations are so incredibly detailed. Okay, so let's go back to the physician. Hello there, sir. Mr. Sun, I've got I've got the plant. Yeah, well done, young man. I'll keep four of them, and this is this that we talked about. Please take it. Also, here are some liniments for you. If you're willing to collect herbs for me in the future, you'll also be rewarded. Thank you, Mr. Sun. Have a great day. All right, there we go. So we got a whole bunch, and look at this. This is an ointment made with a secret prescription useful for treating light injuries, and you can use it to restore HP, which is going to be super useful for you later on down the line. So now we need to go and bring the herbs back to Master Zhang. There we go. Oh, he is not here. What's this? Fish scale armor? Ooh. Notes on martial arts written by an unknown person. Read it to gain martial points. Ooh, yes. How do I access my inventory? There we go. Got it. All right. I could potentially wear this. Yes, I can. Nice. Okay, let's read this as well. There we go. I just gained 200 martial points. That's absolutely insane. So that basically means that I can increase this even further. I'm actually wondering if there's anything else I can increase. I can upgrade my basic palm technique, or I could just upgrade this. I'm actually not entirely sure whether we should do that at all. I'm going to upgrade it once. And then we have more of this. So I can actually upgrade this some more. 
Oh, that's incredible. Yeah, I wouldn't mind actually doing that. There we go. I've got no more Meridian points, but I can also get some more if we want to. Maybe I'm making a mistake by doing that. Okay, so where is, where is, where's, where's the guy? Where's the guy? I don't, oh, there he is. There he is. Okay, found him. Master Zhang, I have the, the herbs. Show me. Good. These are exactly the two herbs I asked for. We've got the first item, and now get ready for the second. What is the second item, and where can I find it? The second item is easy. Get me two jars of liquor from the inn. That's right. All right, yeah, okay. Well, well we're going to do that. <laughs> we're going to go and get the liquor. What do you bet? What do you... Daddy, you're drinking that again? Mrs. Zhao has been saying all you do is goof around all day. Ugh. Talking about uh, t talking behind one's back. Don't you ever speak to her again. What? Everyone in the village knows that you drink jars of liquor every night? Of course they'll talk about it. What do you know? Have you practiced martial arts today? Ah, daddy. Um, Master Zhang, drinking too much is indeed not good for your health. Hey, kiddo, I can tell you're taking Zhao Tong's side again. Don't you spoil her, you heard me? All right, start standing here like an idiot. Just go get the liquor from the inn. Yes, of course, I'll go now. <laughs> oh, yes, okay. Don't, don't, uh, <laughs> don't, don't beat us up for that. All right, yeah, let's actually just go all the way over to the inn. The inn is right here. I remember very specifically that it is. Hi, I want two jars of liquor, please. Oh, sorry, we're out of that liquor. How about something else? Our other liquor is quite good as well. Uh... Master Zhang asked for Gao Liang liquor. If, he, if I get something else, he's not going to like it. Could you help me out here? So it's Master Zhang who wants it. In that case, I'll be straight with you. We actually had some Gao Liang liquor in stock. But Wei Huo, who lives by the village entrance, bought 20 jars yesterday for some reason. That's why we're out of stock now. There may be a way, though. Everyone knows that he likes to spar with people. If you're confident in yourself, have a go at it. If you win, perhaps you'll be willing to sell you a jar or two. Okay, I'll give it a go. Wait, he's a solitary man. You have to get on well with him before he'll spar with you. Got it. Thank you for telling me that. Hey, where's our food? Sir, please wait a moment. I'll tell the chef to hurry up. Stop wasting my time or I'll smash this place up. Sir, my apologies. Go serve the gentlemen their food now. Yes, of course, right away. Yeah, those are those are some troublemakers right there. The innkeeper seems kind of busy. I should go. I mean, really, come on now. We should know that those fellows are troublemakers, 100%. We should know already. Are you sure about this? You're free to go ahead if you're scared. Or go away if you're scared even. What do you mean? <sighs> we share a common goal. There is no need for infighting. He and his wife killed a lot of our people in the battle that year, but the woman is long dead and he can't do much by himself. Besides, we've got him trapped in every corner this time. He will not escape. Once the others arrive, we can... Ha! <laughs> You're right, Grey Condor, but walls have ears. Let's just drink for now. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Alright, we know 100% that those guys are up to no good. And we're gonna, we're gonna take care of them later on. Hopefully. Anyway, the innkeeper said I need to get on well with Wei Hyo before he would spar with me. I wonder what that was about. Bear in mind, my pronunciation of these names is terrible. It's terrible. I do apologize. Anyway, I should find him. I know where he is. I know where he is because we saw him earlier. It should be the inn over there. Is Condor School's intel reliable? How can we end up in the middle of some shithole, he says. How dare you? How dare you insult my village? Anyway, we'll know when we get in there. The others may have already arrived. Hurry up, we can't risk any delays. How many of these guys are actually coming here? Let's go then. Hey, you over there. Get out of our way. More people coming to the inn? Never mind, a wise man knows when to retreat. Alright, they're not going to bother me, thankfully. Strange, how come there are so many people coming to the village all of a sudden? <sighs> Better stay out of trouble. I should find Wei Hyo by the village and see if he'll sell me any of that liquor. Alright, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. I know where he is. He's down here. There he is. Excuse me, are you the fellow that likes to spar all the time? What is it? Mr. Wang from the inn told me that you bought a lot of liquor yesterday, so I was wondering if you had any left. If you do, could you sell me two jars? I'll pay whatever price you ask for. I'm not selling any liquor. They're for my future Shifu. Wait, I know you. You're the man staying with Master Zhang. What do you want the liquor for? It's a long story. I don't need to hear it. 
Since you're here, you must have heard about my rules. If you can defeat me in a spar, I'll give you the liquor for free. How's that? Deal. Alright. So let's go and observe him. You can boost an NPC's, uh, NPC's affinity with you by gifting them with something they like. You can spar with an NPC if their affinity with you reaches 20. There's a chance to get an item from their bag if you win. Item drop rate at 20 affinity is 50%. The rate increases by 1% for every one additional point of affinity. All right, so that's actually fantastic. So basically at 40 affinity, that means you have, wait a minute, 1%. No, increase it by 1%, so at 40 affinity. Okay, so I would need 70 affinity to be able to make that 100%. Okay, good to know. Right, so I should probably give him something, shouldn't I? So what should I give him? Um. Oh no, he has this. Okay, he has this. So, so let's actually spar with him. Oh no, wait, we can't do that yet, can we? No, we can't do that yet. So wait a minute, let me observe him. So what does he actually like? He likes weapons, and he likes consumables. Okay, he likes... Okay, so gift him something. So he likes weapons and consumables. So I can give him the monkey's fruit juice, for example. So let's give him that. Oh, that did not do very well. Okay, that did not do very well at all. Let's do the ointment then. There we go. <laughs> that actually did exactly what we needed. Okay, that's absolutely fantastic. So let's do that. Okay, so now what we should do is we should spar with him. Okay, I have a feeling that he's probably going to murder me um, pretty easily actually. So let me just... Um, I'm actually just going to move back one. And I'm then just going to move forward one, and then we're going to um, just just do that. I actually don't want to do anything else. There we go. Now we can move closer to him. I actually wanted to go around the side to do more damage, but unfortunately I won't be able to do that, so we will just have to do a normal attack here. Oh, he's going to murder me. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, no, we can actually move to the side. Yes, side attack. Nice damage. He can actually do a side attack on me as well, which is hilarious. So, um, yeah, I, I'm actually going to move behind him. Nice. Back attack, 49 damage. He's got. He's going to attack me at the front now, which is actually fine. So we can actually continue to use our positioning. Oh, I can't believe he evaded. I'm going to have an opportunity to attack him once again here. Nice, 64 damage. Actually, I think that was a critical as well. He's he's also criticaling me too, but that's absolutely fine because now I can move behind him and hopefully finish him off. There we go. Nice. How much? How many martial points do we actually get for sparring? 12. Actually, not too bad. Not bad. No wonder Master Zhang saw something in you. If you need help with anything in the future, come and invite me. You can always count on me. Great. Thank you for agreeing to help. Don't mention it. Here's the liquor we agreed on. Thank you. I've got the liquor. Now I should go back. And he's also given me a... Uh, he's also given me martial arts notes. Are you serious, sir? That's really nice of him. And look at this. We now have Affinity 60 with him, which means he can join our party. There's a side quest right here. As you see, it also it already says that we, he can join our party. So what we can do now is we can actually read this. I'm going to read that. And that means that we've gained even more martial points. So what I should probably do is we should probably go ahead and upgrade our cultivation method. And we should probably also upgrade this as well. Or I should probably wait until we have the ability to uh, spend some points in weapons. But we can actually invite him to join our, uh, our party. I'm here to help. There we go. He's actually joined us. That is fantastic. Love it. I absolutely love that. Okay, so now we can raise our affinity with him. I'm not sure how to really do that. We need to give him some some consumables and things like that. I'm not entirely sure if I really want to um, focus on that right now because we do have the main story quest to do. And I would like to collect a couple of extra pieces of resources just in case. You never know when I'm going to need those. And I'm going to make my way back to Master Zhang. Master Zhang, I've got the liquor. Ah, all right. Now we have the second item. Ah, it's not for you? Huh. One of them is. The other is for detoxifying. All right, you don't need to know all the details. Just do what I tell you. I see. Right. Master Zhang, the inn at the foot of the mountain... Oh, no, enough. Just do as you're told. Put the liquor in the room and get some rest for the third item tomorrow. 
Master Zhang seems very drunk, and I guess I can tell him about those martial artists later. Uh, he should have just told him, in my opinion. He should have just told him, but you know how it is. You know how it is sometimes. Sometimes you just can't get a, a, a word in, can you? Anyway, I wonder, what, I wonder what it is that I need to collect tomorrow. According to Master Zhang, the frost venom in my body should be fully expelled once I collect all three items. Come to think of it, Master Zhang and Zhao Tong have taken good care of me these days. We're having some big issues, though. I'm so cold. My limbs are freezing. <coughs> Yi! What happened, Yi? I... I feel terrible. The frost venom is probably taking full effect. I... I probably can't make it. Not under my watch. Now is the right moment. Here, drink this. Okay. What... What is it? It tastes strange. Potions made of the two herbs in the liquor you brought back. So the liquor I got yesterday was for making the potion. That's right. The frosty toad poison condenses the moment it gets into the body. Ching Shu's internal energy may be strong, but he cannot completely expel the cold chi out of your body. Once you lie in bed or stay still for too long, your meridians will become clogged, gradually resulting in limb stiffness and heart failure. By then, even the greatest physician in the world wouldn't save your life. That's why you had me walking around. It was to help my blood and chi flow. Credit where credit is due. Now that you have drunk the potion, how do you feel? I don't feel so cold anymore. Rather warm instead. Sounds about right. The potion is of a hot nature and can make your internal energy surge. You have already struck some meridians. With the help of the potion, your internal energy will push the stagnant cold chi out of your meridians. But to fully expel the poison, you still need one last item. I see. Where can I find the last item? Is it some herb as well? No rush. Finish the potion on the table first, and then come see me at the cave behind the village. I will tell you where it is then. We're going on an adventure. Oh yes, indeed. Wait for me, Daddy. I'm coming with you. Just finish the potion, ye. I'll see you at the cave. All right. Be right there. All right. So, yeah. Now we need to go and finish the potion, which is right here. Drink. The potion truly has a strange taste finally finish the potion. I should hurry and find Master Zhang and Zhao Tong at the cave behind the village. Alright, so first of all, what I want to see here is I don't actually have any other consumables. Well, I do have one here, but that's the thing. I'm not entirely sure what affinity is going to get me if I increase it any further. I can actually spar with him multiple times. Let's spar with him again, just because we can get some more martial points by doing so. I'm actually going to move forward one Maybe two, and then we'll just wait and see what he does. No, he can actually move towards me. That was really bad of me then. But we can get a nice side attack on him. And then maybe I can get behind him? Yes, I can. Nice. Perfect timing right there. Perfect timing. So now he's not going to get a side attack on me, which is actually really, really useful. And then we can do this. And hopefully I will be able... I, I, what, what does this actually do? Increase Meridian points, max HP... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I mean, technically I could do that. I should really have done that beforehand, shouldn't I? That probably would have made sense. I might even lose this, particularly. Um, which would be kind of, uh, kind of bad. Oh, I can attack him twice. Oh, that's super, super strong. Oh, he actually criticaled. Are you serious that you actually criticaled me, sir? That is not very nice of you. Okay, I might be able to win this, but if he gets more criticals, like, that was another one? Are you serious? Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm dead. Actually, maybe not, maybe not. I might be able to, to do something. Mm, I think I'm dead. <gasps> he didn't critical this time. He didn't critical. Okay, that means I have achieved victory. Very, very close. Super, super close. And we got another 12 martial points. Very nice. Ooh, we got a crouching dragon polearm technique from him. Nice. So t so basically what that means is if you specialize in polearms or if you specialize in something like that, then that's what you can do. You can actually get um, these kinds of uh, techniques from a variety of different people. And I think that's absolutely fantastic. Okay, so I have huge amount. What? what? How did I get 282 meridian points? I guess the uh, the potion. The potion did that, I guess, right? Or something. Oh, now I'm wondering what I should do here. Um, Grant's attack. Oh, wow. Attack is really, really good, right? 
I think attack sounds really, really good. Because that's going to increase... Immediately gain 200 chi after launching a critical attack. I mean, this seems like uh, seems like a lot of fun, actually. Movement. Defense. HP. Oh, HP could be kind of useful. Yeah, why not? Let's get some HP. Um, oh, you know what? I, I, I don't want to spec in, into anything just yet because you never know what you're going to need with the particular weapon type that you might choose to go for. You're so slow, Yi. You're the last to arrive. Ha! <laughs> You're too fast, Zhao Tong. I couldn't keep up. <laughs> Next time, I'll slow down for you. You missed it since you're late, but Daddy just said the last item was at the end of the cave. In this cave? Yes, but there are snakes dwelling in it. Though your internal energy has increased over the last couple of weeks, it's hard to utilize your full power without proper martial arts moves. I'll teach you some moves for self-defense. That would be great. Thank you, Master Zhang. Once I have mastered the moves, would I be as powerful as Master Ching Shu and you? Ha! <laughs> hmm, you wish. The process of learning and practicing martial arts is not to be rushed. Your foundation is still weak, so I will teach you some moves for beginners first. Before we begin the lesson, let me give you a general overview. Martial arts skills can be categorized into three types. Moves, lightness skills, and cultivation methods. And there are five subcategories under moves. Fist weapons, sword play, saber play, polearm technique, and hidden weapon technique. Fist is the root of all moves. It focuses on the flow of chi within your body and your overall strength on the outside. As fast as lightning, it is usually used to attack a single target. Sword is the top of all weapons. Sword play is known to be swift, flexible, and unpredictable. It is usually used to attack targets in a straight line. Saber is heavy, powerful, and good at slashing. It is usually used to attack enemies in a column. Polearm is the longest of all weapons. In combat, length is strength. It is normally used to attack targets close by. Hidden weapon is unseen and deadly, which is hard to, uh, hard to guard against. It is usually used to attack targets far away. I got everything. Since I come from Wudang sect, I am more familiar with sword, saber, and fist weapons. I'll teach you the moves of these three weapons today. Oh, you're a member of Wudang sect as well, Master Zhang? Not anymore. Alright, no more questions. Now pick a weapon. Fist weapon. Good, this is your weapon of choice. Now take it. Thanks, Master Zhang. And he's gonna give me boxing gloves. Nice. Your choice today does not affect your ability to learn other martial arts in the future, so you're always free to switch to another one if you change your mind down the road. You can only use the moves of the type of weapon equipped. For example, when you have a sword equipped, you'll be able to use sword play moves in a battle. If you want to use saber play moves, for example, you'll have to equip a saber first. Other than that, lightness and cultivation methods are not restricted by weapon types. Alright, super, fu super fun, right? Super, super fun. Okay, you can change skill type. You can switch skill types on the top. You can switch weapon types on the left. Party members can only learn the moves of their predetermined weapons. You can deploy or undeploy a skill by double-clicking it. Only deployed skills can be used in battle. Learning or upgrading any move grants weapon mastery points based on the quality of the move. Weapon mastery affects the damage of the weapon, and it is the prerequisite to learn certain advanced moves. All right, now back up, and I will demonstrate the moves. Yes, Master Zhang. All right, here we go. Whoa, looks cool. This is called the Mountain Shaking Palm Strike. It attacks the upper body. Move your palm as if you were removing a mountain. Did you get that? Yes, what a powerful move. You can't learn by just watching. Now equip the weapon and try this move on the dummy. All right, that is exactly what I'll do. So um, let me have a look-see here. So we are extremely low in HP for some reason. Um, <laughs> that is not particularly good, is it? All right, so let me actually just see here real quick. So if I go here, we can get more strength. What is strength? I need to see. It affects attack. Okay, it affects attack and critical rate. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Um, I need to actually heal myself, don't I? But I need to equip this. Let me just equip my boxing gloves real fast. I Yeah, I need to heal myself, don't I? But I don't really want to use my, my ointment. Is he going to heal me? I actually wonder whether he's actually going to heal me before we uh, go into the cave. I kind of hope he's going to do that, but I have a bad feeling that maybe he's not going to. Uh, can I upgrade this? Yeah, let's upgrade this. Um, I don't actually know whether that's the right thing to do. Maybe we don't want to do that. Maybe we should just upgrade this a little bit more. I think I need to upgrade my cultivation a little bit more as well. So let's actually just do a little bit more in this. Um, kind of want to go for more HP, insufficient meridian points, how, how so? 
Did I just use all my Meridian points? I had 200, didn't I? Didn't I have 200? Or was that a... Was that something that I just imagined? I think I just imagined having that. I think I... Yeah, I think so. I have Marshall points. I have a lot of Marshall points. So let me actually just spend that a little bit here, I suppose. All right. So um, let me see. Let's try this out. Yeah. Doesn't seem right. You lack strength and speed. Concentrate and try again. Yes, Master Zhang. Yeah. How did I do this time, Master Zhang? There we go. My weapon, my weapon, barely acceptable, he says. The dummy does not fight back like a real opponent. Spar with me and try the moves you just learned. All right, here we go. Okay, I'm extremely low in HP still. I should really be uh, full HP. He literally just killed me instantly because I had such low HP. Well, there's been some progress this time. <laughs> oh, no. Just like cultivation methods, you have to keep upgrading your moves to improve their power. And upgrade the move you just learned with the martial points you learned by sparring. Okay, so I got 60. So hopefully that's going to be good. You've probably realized that honing a move increases its corresponding weapon mastery. Do not look down on weapon mastery. For the higher the mastery, the more powerful the moves of this weapon type will be. Also, some powerful moves require certain weapon mastery to learn. All right. All right, cool, cool. Let's do it, let's do it. Okay, so I'm actually going to upgrade these. I'm going to upgrade this a whole bunch. This is going to be super, super powerful for us, hopefully. Deals damage to target, does not use MP. Applies one stack of this effect. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Um, does pretty good damage as well. I'm just going to upgrade it even further. We've got a special move as well. What is this? Incredibly fierce. It's got a cooldown of one. It has an MP cost. Okay, okay. That's good to know. All right. So I've just upgraded everything that I can, basically. And uh, we actually have someone that's going to help us. And we're full HP now. So that's actually really, really nice that he... Um, he healed us after murdering us in one hit, of course. Okay, so let's actually move. Now, what's really cool about this as well, by the way, is that there are no random encounters as far as I'm aware. Maybe there are. I'm actually not entirely sure. But from what I can tell right here, as you can see, the enemies, i.e. the snakes, are on the map and you can see them. So you can just run into them and then you can fight them, which I actually very much appreciate. Anyway, let's just go here and we'll just wait. Mm, I think I'll just move forward with him. And we can do special if we want to. It's going to cost MP. I'm not sure if I want to use my MP right now, do I? It's going to do 47 damage. These have 67 HP, so it doesn't make any difference whether I do that or not. So I will just attack normally. 85 critical. Sir, are you okay? You are absolutely beastly. How did he do that? I have no idea. But the snakes are moving extremely slowly, as you can quite clearly tell. So this should be nice and easy for us. Let's just do some damage. Boom. Look at that. 124 damage right there. Super nice. And we just gained Viper, which is a crude drug, apparently. It's a material. Hmm. All right. Well, let's uh, let's go. And um, technically, we can collect some of these resources while we're in here as well. Um, let me just pick this up. There we go. Get that. And I guess we'll go into some more fights with the snakes. Why not? Probably shouldn't have gone that far forward, but I don't think the snakes are that that fast, right? Don't think so. 85 critical again. How does he do that? I have no idea. But, well, whatever the case, I will be able to murder this. There we go. I think we're actually just doing massive damage. Yeah, we seem to be uh, doing really, really nicely, actually. And let's actually go and attack these. Okay, this is going to be more... This is going to be easily more difficult. Yeah, yeah, this guy knows what's up. Okay, so let's actually just do this. The other snakes are going to be um, very slow, so we should be able to eliminate this guy first at least. Yeah, as you can see, yeah, we're going to be able to get behind these guys or at the very least go to the side. There we go. Nice damage. And we can eliminate them. As you can see, positioning is extremely important in this game. And it is going to basically determine whether you hit or whether you or whether you don't. Um, obviously, you can still hit from the front, but doing more damage in in general is obviously always, in my opinion, a really good idea. I mean, obviously, you want to try and do as much damage as possible, of course. Anyway, we got some we got some stuff here, 
and we have this as well, which gives us, uh, apparently, you can consume this to permanently increase maximum HP. Hmm, that could be kind of useful. Anyway, I am going to be avoiding most of the other snakes if I can. And we're just going to be continuing onward here. But you can, of course, fight all the snakes if you so desire. I will attack this one. I think I will attack this one right here. Because this is a new one that we haven't fought before. Okay, yeah, there's all kinds of different ones now. So I'm just going to wait here. Yeah, he's going to attack. Okay, unfortunate. We might be able to... Oh, he's got a ranged attack. Are you serious? Okay, that's not particularly good. Okay, that's a good side attack right there. Uh, I'm going to go to the front, actually, and just attack him from the front here because I kind of don't want to show my side to the snake. Okay, the green ones are really, really slow, so we don't really need to worry about that. Let's kill this. There we are, and then we can just go to the side here, hopefully eliminate this in one hit. Yeah, nice and easy. All right, and now we're getting we're getting some pretty good martial points in the process as well. And bear in mind, obviously, if you fight every single one of these um, snake parties, then you're going to have a really, really good time in terms of the amount of martial points that you get. Oh, well... <laughs> I didn't actually mean to attack these guys, but apparently they wanted to. Yeah, they definitely did. Okay, we are actually regenerating HP every single turn by the looks of things as well. So that's pretty cool. I think if we use Compose, that is what happens. And this is going to be nice and easy. There we go. Nice little frontal attack there. 142 HP those, uh, those particular snakes have. So they are uh, quite a bit more difficult. I should be fast enough to be able to beat this snake. There we go. Nice. Fantastic. And we're also getting uh, all kinds of rare materials as well. Or should we say uh, slightly rare materials. Okay, here we go. The path ends here. This should be the end of the cave. Huh? There's something on the ground. It looks like a snake egg. It's huge. Must be the third item Master Zhang told me about. Got it. I should hurry up and bring it back to Master Zhang. Hmm, I think I hear something. A big snake. A big snake that wants to absolutely murder us, of course. Holy moly, where did this giant snake crawl out from? Ouch, that hurt. Yeah, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm certain it did. I'm certain it did. Alright, so here we go. Uh, thankfully, it just has two green snakes with it, so we really don't even have to particularly worry about that too much. But it is moving pretty fast, and it does have a ranged attack, as you can see right there. So we've got to be a bit careful. Okay, I'm going to go for a side attack. Boom. I should probably use... Uh, you know what I should have done? Use the special attack. I should have used a special attack against this guy. That probably would have made more sense. Oh, well, never mind. I can actually use one now. Boom, there you go. 138. Still didn't kill him, though. There we go. I can just be thankful that this fellow literally got recruited by me, because if we hadn't recruited him, we would be in dire straits right now. I would be by myself against three enemies. That would have been so incredibly bad. And there you go, we did it. And we got Crimson Cobra eggs. Oh, massive amounts of restoration. Look at this, plus 2000 HP to all of our party members. That's actually incredible. No wonder, no wonder Master Zhang wants this stuff. Anyway, phew, finally got rid of it. Ugh, I feel so hot, like I'm burning up. It must be the snake bite. What's happening? I feel cold now. My limbs are freezing. The frost venom in my body hasn't come out yet. Now there's also the snake venom. This time, I'm probably going to die here. Or not, because he's here. Not going to happen. I'm not going to let you die just like that. Master Zhang, what are you doing here? Ah! I'll explain later. Relax your body, sit down and cross your legs. Okay. Good. Now try to compose yourself and regulate your chi. Use your chi to guide the two venoms in your body to your dantian. Don't worry. I'll help you. Okay. How do you feel now? Phew, much better. I don't feel cold nor hot. My entire body feels relaxed now. 
Good, this means the frosty toad poison is gone, and you are fine now. Huh? It's gone, but I haven't used the snake egg yet. I didn't say the snake egg was the last item, did I? The third item is the venom from the King Crimson Cobra behind you. Snake venom? That's right. The frost venom in your body is the coldest in nature, while the King Crimson Cobra's venom is the hottest. The two are mutually exclusive. As long as they coexist in your body, I can turn them against each other using the Five Immortals Mental Sutra and get rid of both of them in the process. Now I understand why you insisted that I enter the cave by myself. Thank you so much, Master Zhang, for going through all this trouble to save my life. I will never forget it. No need for that. I only saved you because I promised Ching Shu. I had to channel some of my internal energy. Let me rest for a moment, then we can be on our way. Don't worry, Master Zhang. I will stand guard for you. Ha <laughs> ha! These, these ruffians, these scoundrels are coming in now. Zhang, you bastard. Finally caught you. Great, now that you don't have your full strength, you will die here today. It's those martial artists I saw in the village. Oh no, the poison made me forget to tell Master Zhang about these people this morning. Who are you? Why do you want to harm Master Zhang? Ha, <laughs> what did you just call him? Master? Ha, <laughs> master my ass. That bastard defected from Wu Dang's sect and killed a bunch of people from various sects. He is, he is, he is an out of control madman. Ah, can you tell I'm so mad that I tripped over my words there? Anyway, nonsense. Master Zhang would never murder the innocent. Believe it or not, we're all here to enact justice today. Get out of our way. We may let you live considering you showed us the way. I showed you the way? What do you mean? You still don't get it. We're here thanks to Xing Shu being in a rush to save you. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to follow him all the way here without being noticed. Heh. <laughs> Never expected the mighty Ching Feng Sword of Wu Dang to be hiding in this village like a coward. I was the one who exposed Master Zhang's whereabouts. Huh. <laughs> I was wondering who you might be. Turns out it's you, losers. What? Are you here to get your remaining arm chopped off as well, Chin Li? Still acting tough before your demise, huh? Were it not for Ching Shu, who got in our way that year, we would have killed both you and the chick from Wusheng sect. But better late than never. I'm gonna kill you today for the arm I lost. And avenge this 13, the 13 lives from Ching Shing sect you took. Hmm? Avenge? What a joke. You are all responsible for what happened to Yun. Since you're all here today, I'll send you to hell together. Yeah. <laughs> Yin Feng, stop bluffing about it. We saw everything. You used up most of your power saving this man. You're just stalling for your chi to recover. Today will be the righteous and give you a free ride to your beloved Yun. He's right. Master Zhang did use a lot of chi trying to save me. <laughs> no way. Not in a million years. No way. This guy is, is super, super strong. Master Zhang is just unstoppable. You'll see. You twat. I'll kill you both then, he says. <laughs> <laughs> what a wonderfully British expression that was. Anyway, these people are very powerful, brat. You are no match for them. Stall them for two, for two turns so I can restore my chi. Remember, do not go head to head with them. Okay, don't go head to head. Oh, I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to not do that, but yeah, sure. All right, stall them for two turns. Okay, so let me, uh, let me go up here then, I guess. That's all I can really do. Should be enough. Right? Yep. Oh, he actually hit him. But that's fine. Oh, now he can do stuff. Now back off ye. I will deal with them. Oh yeah, I bet he will. He is going to deal with them like no one's business. Just watch this. He has level 10 sword play across the board. What an absolute monster he is. Let's use special. Boom, look at that. Massive damage, 855 damage. And ye can literally just chill out now. Oh, he actually almost died. Let's move him back. Okay, we need to do a side attack here. Let's do mighty. Boom. Massive damage. He's almost dead, that fellow. This guy is actually using divine blood... D divine blood blow or something like that? Oh, wow. That's that's pretty crazy. Yeah, he... he oh, okay. So, he is, he is gone. He's been knocked unconscious, unfortunately. And now we can actually do this. Eliminate him. Uh, these guys have 1200 HP. And Master Zhang has 2100. He just evaded. That's really, really nice. Um, I want to go behind this guy. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We can do... Ch Whoa. Okay, let's do this. Tai Chi Swordplay. 
Boom. Special move. They're dead. <laughs> that, was, that was insane. The amount of damage he's able to do is crazy. Good, crazy cool. Okay, so we got some extra gear here, which hopefully we're going to be able to utilize. We also got some martial arts notes as well. Ah, uh, damn it. Zhang is even stronger than he was 10 years ago. Had he not used up most of his chi, he would have killed us three. <laughs> no worries, we've stored him long enough. Stored? What exactly are you planning? Ah, oh, let go of me. Let go, you baddies. Zhao Tong. Yeah, sounds like our alley's outside the cave. We'll snatch the girl. Is it true? We, well, it is true that we're no match for you, Zhang, but it doesn't matter, does it? If you want to save your daughter, come out and face your fate. Heh, <laughs> we'll meet you outside the cave. All right, so then we get the opportunity to get outside the cave. Stop right there. Master Zhang. Are you all right, Master Zhang? No, you're wounded. What should I do? It's okay, Master Zhao... Uh, I mean, Master Zhao Tong. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. Zhao Tong is in danger. We gotta get out now. Okay. And now he's joined our party. He's actually joined our party. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We need to go and save Zhao Tong. Let's do it. Oh no, snakes, get out of my way, snakes. Are you joking me? Literally, massive damage. And this is exactly why this is exactly why this game is absolutely fantastic, by the way, because it literally allows you to play as Master Zhang, and and as a result of this, it it gives you that feeling of look at how powerful someone can get, and that's exactly the reason. Okay, um, I oh, I I, re I reached the end. Okay, that's great. You baddies, let go of me, or my daddy will make you pay. Shut up! Stop crying! Or I'm gonna kill you right now. Uh, Zhang, we'll get you sooner or later. Come on, die. That's right. I have my revenge today. Well said. Let's slay this madman together and make him pay for all the lives he has taken. Yes, make him pay. It's been ten years. Fate has finally caught up to me. All the people outside are here for me, Yi. I can't guarantee your safety if you follow me out. Why don't you hide in the cave? They will leave once they kill me. Or if I defeat them, you'll get out safely too. No way. Were it not for me, those people wouldn't be here. And Zhao Tong wouldn't have been involved. I know that I am weak, and I may not be of much help, but there's no way I'm going to hide here like a coward. Besides, I owe my life to you. It would be an honor to fight, and in worst case, die with you. Master Zhang, let me go with you to rescue Zhao Tong. Aha, good. I have underestimated you. But as you can see, we are outnumbered. The odds are not in our favor. Are you sure you're up for, up for this? You bet I am. I should have died a long time ago. You are the one who saved me from the poison. I've spent half my life wandering this world. As a lone wu wuxia, I did not expect to meet a true friend like you. What a lifetime. It's also my honor to have met you, Master Zhang. Ha! <laughs> Good. Let's drink this liquor and fight to the end. Here. Ah! <laughs> Strong stuff. Ha! <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Here, Yi. This five immortals mental sutra belonged to Yun. Now I entrust it to you. Oh wow! What, what what is this? Okay, this is incomplete. An incomplete manual entrusted to you by Zhang it is said to be a secret. Ooh, that's going to be super powerful later on. Why are you giving me something this important at this moment, Master Zhang? Just take it. That the poison in your body is gone. I didn't have enough time for a full check. Should there still be any traces of the poison left, the Mental Sutra will be your last hope. You're still worrying about me at this critical moment. Master Zhang, I... Ugh. Don't get all emotional now. The Five Immortals Mental Sutra is a secret manual of Wushang sect. You must not reveal its existence to anyone ever, nor tell anyone your relationship with me, for it would only bring you trouble. Yes, I got it. Good. Actually, I am to blame for the situation today. I did kill a lot of people to save Yun years ago. I have enemies all over the world. It was only a matter of time before they caught up to me. Today they die, or I do. Either way, the grievances of the past will be settled. The only one I am still worried about is Zhao Tong. Yi, I will try to stall them, when you have the chance. Please rescue Zhao Tong and take her away from here. Do not try to avenge me. Keep a low profile, live a good life, and don't ever get involved in the world's grudges. Master Zhang, what about you? Don't mind me, Yi. Zhao Tong's safety is the only thing that matters. Remember, you are responsible for her now. Got it! 
I will do my best to protect Zhao Tong. You have my word. Good. Let's head out now. <laughs> Zhang. Ha! You've finally come out. Bastard. Both you and I have a score to settle. Hmm. I'm right here. Come at me if you dare. The, the uh, Ching Feng Sword of Wudang is indeed a brave man, but are you really aware of the current situation? Surrender now, if you don't want anything to happen to your daughter. Daddy, Yi! Zhao Tong. Darn it, you thugs! What kind of Wu Sha are you holding a little girl hostage? Where did this punk come from? How dare you interfere with Villain Valley business? No need to gang up on him. Let my daughter go, and my life is yours. Good for you, but I don't want your life. Cripple yourself to the point you lose all your martial art abilities and come back to Villain Valley with me, or I will kill the girl right now. Bao Min, this isn't right. We all agreed to deal with Zhang together, and now you want to take him to Villain Valley? Yeah, what do you mean? You truly live up to the reputation of the four villains. Do you think we just stand idly by while you take Zhang for yourself? You want revenge? Why don't you just go ahead? Ha! <laughs> You're just wasting everyone's time because you're afraid of him. How dare you? What about it? I'm the one who snatched the girl. It's up to me to make demands. They may be afraid of Villain Valley, but Ming Zhang honor is not. Mana, even. You've pushed us to the point where working with Master Zhang has become justifiable. Work with me? Yes, that's right. Master Zhang, hand over the five Immortals Mental Sutra and we'll rescue your daughter. How's that? So it's the five Immortals Mental Sutra that... The man I want. Bah. You central plains hypocrites, I haven't even had the time to settle the score for what happened to Wu Yun, the high priestess. Yet now you're coveting the treasure of Wu Shang sect? Show some respect, you bastards. Hmm. Highest priestess, my ass. She was just a murdering witch. She got what she deserved. How dare you insult our high priestess? Hmm, a bunch of evil thugs fighting amongst yourselves before the enemy. You are not worthy of being our allies. And now they're going to fight each other. They are going to fight each other, I hope. Wudang sect. What? Why are Wudang disciples here as well? What's the meaning of this? Is Wudang going to protect this madman again? You misunderstand us, gentlemen. Under Master Ching... Ching Shao's orders, we've come to eliminate the traitor Zhang Yinfeng. Our goals are aligned. Oh no! Even Wu Dang's sect is against Master Zhang. It's been more than a decade. I didn't expect them, or him, to hold a grudge for what happened to Moli. The order has been given. Master, Master Zhang, do you have any last words? Damn it! Are you bastards trying to ignore me? He's coming back to Villain Valley with me. Say another word, and I'll have your heads. Hmm. You don't get to tell Wu Dang's sect what to do. Zhang is a traitor of Wu-Dang. You villain valley has no say in this. I don't give a damn, you bloody Taoist. I'm taking him back anyway. I'll chop the girl to pieces if anyone gets in my way. No one will get what they want then. It will be a bit difficult to chop, chop her into pieces because you have a mace. But I'm, I'm pleased to say that he doesn't really know what weapon he has. Anyway. Don't you dare lay a finger on her. We don't care about Zhang, but the girl is extremely important to our sect. Anything happens to her, and you will all suffer the consequences. Sort off. You don't get to speak. I'm here to exact revenge. I'm going to kill both Zhang and the girl. That's right. We outnumber them. Let's kill the girl first. Zhang will not escape either way. Wow. Okay. There's a lot going on right here. Ye, yeah, now is our chance. They are fighting amongst themselves. We'll take them down one by one. Let's go. Okay. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Let's take them down one by one. Uh, these guys are way too hard for me to to deal with. So, um, well, for, not for me, but, you know, for my character to deal with. So I guess we're just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Nice damage. I don't actually know. He's got 130 HP. Actually, I might be able to actually do something, surprisingly enough. Maybe. If I attack from the side and use my mighty ability or special ability, I might be able to do that with my main character here. But yeah, they're actually fighting amongst themselves really nicely here, and I can only be thankful that they're um, 
<laughs> that they are doing that because otherwise we'd have some issues. Okay, so here we go. 55 damage. Okay, I was kind of hoping for a bit more than that actually, sir. Oh, he can attack again. Oh, nice. Oh, and again. Oh, he evaded. Are you serious? There we go. Okay, we did it. We actually took him down. That's pretty cool. And now we can use special against this guy. Nice. I should have gone behind him, actually, probably. That would have made a bit more uh, a bit more of a difference. Maybe. Maybe it would have been better. This is actually super, super cool to see such a large-scale battle. Everyone utilizing different weapon styles as well. This guy is taking an absolute battering. Okay, there we go. I'm going to move behind, do a normal attack. Unfortunately, don't have anything more than that. Okay, take them out one by one. Oh, wow. That's a yeah, that's a big ability right there. Okay, so now we can move, I guess move here and then just use our regular attack. Unfortunately, that wasn't <laughs> <laughs> that didn't really do much, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping for a bit more than that, but oh well. Never mind. Okay, she's actually going to try and attack us now. Oh, he has his unique ability now. Alright, that's what we're going to do. He is literally just going to move into the middle of all of them, because look at how much damage this thing does. Tai Chi, swordplay, absolute insanity, super, super high damage ability. So I'm just going to move here. And, oh, I can only do damage to her. Okay, that's not really what I was wanting. What about this? No, I can only do damage to him now. Right, okay. Yeah, we're going to have to do... Going to have to do this then, I guess. Use our mighty ability. Boom. Massive damage. Oh, all these super cool abilities. I really cannot wait until our character gets something like that. I would love to have something like that, to be honest. Okay, um, yeah, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do much here. I mean, this I could do damage to this guy, but that's not really going to do much in general. I could basically just move over here, use this. That's not really going to do much either, to be honest. Okay, so uh, let's just use a special. Take her down. There we go. Is she dead? Yep, she's, she's done. And now, technically, what we could do is we could move in the middle between all of these and then do this. Yep, there we go. Let's do it. Massive damage. Yeah, there we go. Take them all down. That was absolutely fantastic. And now we've only got one opponent remaining. And I'm basically just going to wait here with my own character because there is no point in me actually going anywhere. Um, can I do anything against this guy? No, I'm not. Ooh, what? I can actually teleport. Or, or I can leap, shall we say. I can leap to that. Let's not go over there. Uh, let's actually just compose ourselves, restore our HP a little bit. Yeah, he's actually moving. Uh, yeah, it's not going to do much, thankfully, for, for us. And let's take him down. There you go. We did it. I mean, Master Zhang, really, literally, what an absolute monster he is. Anyway, as you can see right here, we're getting all kinds of skills. We're getting sword play stuff, five tiger strike, which is no doubt a sight saver play. We also have this, which is a palm strike. That's going to be super, super useful for us, considering we are using our fists. We have silver armor here. We have pancakes. We got a crown. We got all kinds of crazy stuff. So, And we also gained 532 martial points. Look at this now. You bastards. We're not up for you. Were it not for you, Zhang would have wouldn't have had the chance to sneak up on us. Enough, you worthless fools! Get over here and help. Once Zhang is recovered, none of us would be able to stop him. Right, we can't let Zhang get away this time. Oh no, they've seen through our plan. Ah, Master Zhang, I'm all right. Ye, remember what I told you before. I do, but. No more buts. If we wait any longer, we're both gonna die here. Yi, please take care of Zhao Tong. Take this. The infinite four symbols. Kya. Whoa. Okay, what a what an absolute beast. What an absolute beast. This guy literally is the most powerful person we've ever seen so far. Maybe apart from uh, Ching Shu at the at the beginning. Who knows? Anyway, now take Zhao Tong and get out of here. Yes, Master Zhang. Damn it. The cave is going to collapse from the fighting. 
Damn it. Come with me, Jatong. The cave is collapsing. Everyone run. Oh no, Master Zhang. Uh, I hope we'll... Uh, you know, I actually hope that he's still alive and that we're going to see him later. Didn't expect Zhang to try to drag everybody down with him. Luckily, we ran fast. I don't think anyone could have survived that. Damn it. He got off easy. I should have been the one to slit his throat. Daddy. Well, Zhang is dead, but we still have his daughter. Heh. <laughs> Right. Since I couldn't kill that bastard myself, I'll do his daughter instead. Don't you dare. Ah. Damn it. I'm severely wounded from the fight. I can't use my internal energy right now. Ha ha. Will you? We would have been afraid of you, but now you've been wounded. Don't make us kill you. Yeah, hold on. She's kind of pretty. It'd be a shame to kill her just like that. Heh. <laughs> You're right. Let's kill the little girl and take the woman back for some fun. You despicable bastards. Yeah, don't worry though, as long as you have some fun with us, we'll spare your life. You scum. Don't you dare hurt Zhao Tong. How the hell are you still alive? <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering the same thing actually. My guy, <laughs> my guy, Yi, he is literally just like, yeah, nothing's gonna kill me. Not that toad venom. Not me getting slashed up by all kinds of, <laughs> all kinds of enemies. I gave my word to Master Zhang. As long as I'm still alive, no one will lay a finger on Xiao Tong. Didn't expect him to be such a loyal man. But the situation is critical. I have to take the future High Priestess back. I cannot be bogged down by this. And she's using her special ability. Smoke. Smoke attack. Ah, damn it. The smoke's poisonous. Ah, my eyes. Grey Condor, help me. Help me. I have to save myself first. So long. Did I get poisoned? I literally got poisoned in the process. Oh, look at this guy. Yeah, not only couldn't you get the item, you also let Zhang die. What are you doing back here? Sorry, boss. Please spare me. I'll take my men to the village right now. I'll find it. Hmm. Get lost. Remember, you don't get another chance. Yes, yes, I'm going right now. Oh, wow. Okay, we got saved. We got saved by Mr. Lee, the village head. Okay, hello. Mr. Yuan, you're finally awake. Uh, what happened to me? Mr. Lee? You have been unconscious for days. How do you feel? I'm all right. Oh, no. Master Zhang. Zhao Tong. Hold on, young man. Master Zhang is still in the cave, and Zhao Tong. Zhao Tong is missing. There is no time. We gotta hurry up and save them. Ah, Mr. Yuan, while you are unconscious, I gathered the villagers and dug open the cave. About Master Zhang, he... What about him? Oh, it's right next to the cave, behind the village. Go take a look yourself. Oh, I know, I know what's going on here. I know what's going on here. Well, by the way, where was my follower in those in those fights? I don't know. He wasn't there. Oh well, whatever the case, I think we know what we're going to find here. Master Zhang. Why, Master Zhang? It's all my fault. I gave you my word, yet I couldn't protect Zhao Tong. I have failed you. I, I, I'm not strong enough. No. Now is not the time for grief. Zhao Tong must be waiting for me. I have to get myself together. Rest in peace, Master Zhang. For I will find Zhao Tong even if I have to give my life for it. Mr. Yuan, Mr. Yuan! I have news of Zhao Tong! Really? Do you know where she is? It was me, Mr. Yuan. I saw Zhao Tong. I was on the mountain topping trees when the cave collapsed. I saw a woman riding toward Luo village with a child. Judging from her figure, she should be the woman from Nanjing who came to our village a while ago. I didn't think much of it, but it came to my mind when the village head told me that Zhao Tong was missing. I think the child taken away with her may be Zhao Tong. The woman from Nanjing? The dots are connected. She was the one who released some hidden weapons before I passed out. She must have taken her. Mr. Li, Mr. Zhang, please, where is Luo village? 
I'm going to rescue Jaton. Of course, Mr. Yuan. Leave the village from the southwest exit, head east, and you'll, you'll arrive at the village. Huh. Zhao Tong is such a poor child. I hope you can find her soon. I will. And there we have it. That is indeed that. And now we must progress on the main story. And that means going to the southwest exit, which is here, and then traveling east. And this is the main map. This is the main map, and then you're going to be able to explore everywhere that you like. And there's the village. We already found it. This must be Luar Village, but where can I find Zha Tong among all the people here? I guess we're going to have to ask around. Good day, sir. We have freshly brewed tea. Would you like to come in and try some? Thanks, I'm good. I just want to ask if you've seen a Nanjing woman with a little girl passing through here. I may have or not. I have to think about it. Um, have you or have you, haven't you seen them? Heh, <laughs> why don't you come in and order some Longjing tea? Perhaps that will refresh my memory. Besides, a lot of travelers frequent our inn. If you go in and ask around, you might find something. You sure know how to run a business. All right, I'll go and ask around in the inn. Let me know if you remember something. Sure, this way, please. Yes, what a swindler. What a swindler he is. Anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. If you would like to check out Wandering Sword, it has just released on Steam. And there is a link in the description. Highly recommended. Massive RPG. Huge amounts of different mechanics, obviously, as you can tell. And you can play with basically any weapon you like. And you can change your build whenever you like. And you can befriend people. You can recruit them to your party. You can go and rescue Zhao Tong. You can do everything that you want to do in a wonderful RPG like this. I thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.